Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, several things have happened in the social media space. Accusations, defamation of character, and some matters that have, you know, been, they've been swept under the carpet. Some others we've made noise about and nothing has been said about them. Today, we're going to look at the legal angle to a lot of the entertainment dramas that we've seen happening in the social media space. Joining us to have the conversa this conversation is a partner at High Tower Solicitors and Advocates, a law firm situated at Lagos, in Nigeria. Now, he, with his practice, he specializes in representing clients in the entertainment, media, creative, digital, culture, tech, marketing, and sports industries. In addition, he provides a full and personal service to businesses, entrepreneurs, and high net worth individuals working in these and other wider commercial fields. And um, he's, he's basically featured on several TV stations, radio stations, blogs. He's one of Nigeria's foremost entertainment lawyers, and you need to be on the lookout for Akiemi Ayolua. Thank you so much for joining wow, us. Wow, man, my head is... <laughs> no, is it because I didn't read the full profile? If I read the full profile, we'll go and break. We'll come back. The show no, will end. already I'm just, like, stunned. Like, the way <laughs> oh, really? you said it, the way oh. you read it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks and well for having done for me. All that Always you do. a pleasure, yeah. Okay, so why, why, why did you decide to focus on the entertainment industry? Yeah, There's because several I, things you could have done as a lawyer. Yeah, because I used to be a singer myself, and um, I wanted to be like R. Kelly growing up, and since uh, I didn't make it as a pop star, so and I qualified as a lawyer at the age of 23, so I thought I could still live my dream working with people in that space. And I think sometimes I get... I get to think like I'm living my dreams through my clients or anybody I'm representing. So I'm happy that I'm able to still work in a place that I'm really, really passionate about, which is entertainment. Okay. And how has it been so far? Yeah, well, it's going to get better. I, I, I'm fulfilled just, you know, living with people, no, working with people who are creators, who define the way we live, they create music, they create cultural products that we enjoy. You know, all these things they create it makes life a little more enjoyable. Mm. Imagine the world without creative people. Without music, without, without technology, the without the arts, without, you know, without the media. There, there's this um, sticker, you know, lawyers have lots of stickers, and, yeah. you know, on cars. What do lawyers they do, Steph? I think that's like my most interesting sticker. Or oh, trouble know. at my work. Uh, you know, don't Wh get which mad. Which do you prefer? No, I prefer don't get mad. Get, get a lawyer. Yeah. You know, I like that one very much. Let's talk about the, the importance of lawyers in the entertainment industry. Oftentimes, we hear only we hear of people consulting the lawyers after they've had a fallout with their record label, and you know they've already made it big in the industry, and they're trying to find their foot. And that's when they now say, "Oh, my lawyers will contact your lawyers and all that." But what's the importance of having a lawyer as a musician, as a, an actor, as a creative in general? Yeah, I think um, when we look at the role of law in society. Law guarantees certainty, guarantees order, which means um, you know there's a there's a process in every society, and to maintain that process, there has to be some kinds of rules and regulations that controls the way we interact. So I'm thinking lawyers are people who have a mastery of the knowledge of all these rules and regulations in every area of human life. I think the law still applies. If you are trying to get married, there's a law guiding that procedure. If you're trying to give identity to a baby, you know, you have to register. There's a law guiding all of that. If you want to travel, there's a law guiding that. So same applies to entertainment or the creative industry. If you want to, you know, really, really enjoy the benefit of everything you create, there's a law that regulates all of that. If you want to, you know, exchange goods and services, there is a law of contract that regulates all of that. So... I think having a lawyer in the midst of your dealings in entertainment would go a step further to ensure that there are certain guarantees so that you're not just working for working sake. Um, you're working with the expectation that there is a return, there are some benefits coming to you. So I think that is the place. Any lawyer that deals in a creative industry would work for the benefit of whoever he represents to ensure that they make the most out of what they are giving out. So when you are giving out, you are also going to negotiate contracts. You know, you advise your clients so that they can make the best 
because you are very conversant with all these transactions and dealings. Not especially like issues of record label signing. Yes. You find that a lot of people don't know because they're in a, they're in a, they're in a hurry yeah. to get signed. And so they sign contracts that become binding and limiting. And when they finally, quote unquote, blown, yeah, they now they realize, get bigger. no, why would you make me sign a contract for seven years? So I'm going to be slaving for you for seven years. Yeah. I want my own freedom. But these are the conversations that should have been had before, before going into the relationship. Okay, so now let's look at some of the entertainment stories that have happened in the past few weeks. And let's get to know what your thoughts are on okay. the stories. Let's start off with Tiwa Savage. So um, Danny Young, a young musician, um, he, Danny Young, he accused Tiwa Savage of stealing lyrics from his song, Oju Tiwo for her new song, One. He released the song in 2009 and he took to Instagram, his Instagram handle to voice his disappointed. He vowed not to accept the habit of using verse or lines from his songs without his permission. Adding that he expected much from Tiwa Savage and other international stories. Let's hear your, your take yeah, on this story. Yeah, um, for me, to, I would expect more from Danny Young. I'll be happy to see him actually go a step further to engage a lawyer. And, you know, if he believes he has a strong enough claim, Hopefully, there will be some kind of reportage telling us that they are now in court. And maybe we can have a judicial decision on the matter. Secondly, I think, um, I think a lot of people, um, I think a lot of people um, are not really, really conversant with the importance of copyrights. Even people who are major players in the space. And uh, th there is that abuse of people taking people's lyrics and melody and all of that. Again, it calls to question whether uh, there is enough ground to make such claims. Did Tiwa lift uh, a, a substantial part of the song? Or when you listen to Danny Young's song and you listen to Tiwa's song, do you think someone without any kind of bias would imagine that That's, somebody copied the other. I mean, person. it just reminds me of Robin Thicke bloodlines, yes. and what he took was supposedly the baseline. Exactly. And eventually, he had to pay. Yeah, for because that. Uh, people would also argue that um, the the similarity doesn't have to be so big or so obvious, but um, whoever is laying claims to an infringement would have to prove on balance of uh, probabilities that the person was influenced and actually lifted this portion of the song oh, to okay. create. Anyway, so we've, again, seen, we've seen many scenarios like that as well, with techno yeah. um, and, and um, Danfo Drivers. Danfo drivers. Yeah. Even though those down when they settled it behind closed yeah. doors, we don't know what went down. Yeah. But we need to see people speaking up more and ensuring that situations like this. In fact, I can think of a music artist that almost all the person's songs lift, lift, lift. Yeah, they are lifting we know up them. And we know like, them. are you a wrestler? Why are you lifting people's <laughs> songs and li lifting people's lyrics? Okay, so I'm going to ask you this question. Uh, concerning the issue of John Abayomi and Linda Ikeji, okay. um, Linda actually claimed that John Abayomi was uh, the owner of Instablog Niger, and he made it out a suit to her. It's actually in court right now. So I'm saying in Has the suit been filed? I'm not sure if it's been filed oh, yet. Oh, it hasn't? Yeah, I think there was a threat. Yes, he had yeah. threatened. And so, yeah. it was headline anyway. But yeah. the question is, is that okay? You just assume as a blogger, because I know you deal with bloggers too, yeah. and then you just go, okay, you heard an information about somebody, and so you just release information out. Is it okay to actually... So where do we now draw the line? You know, like between yeah. reporting... And, be, uh, and reporting a person, reporting information and defamation of character. Yeah, I think um, you can't, because you have the leverage of a platform as a blogger, you know, go to town to spread falsehood. And uh, when you do that, there's a consequence for that. There are civil liabilities and there are cr criminal aspects to, you know, dealing with such issues when they arise. Because I'm, I'm aware that there's a cyber law which uh, speaks to when people spread falsehood mischievous, m mischievously to injure the character or person of someone. So you can actually file a complaint with the police to bring such people to book. Ah. Yeah, you can. All the and social media trolls. I don't know if that. You, Yes, there, there has been cases where some bloggers, a particularly uh, popular Ibadan-based blogger, went to town about pasta and was alleging certain things, and the pastor reported to the police, and she was invited to 
Port Harcourt, and she was. Can me your lawyer yeah. to be precise? No, I didn't mention anything. <laughs> you are afraid that she will come after no, you. No, 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 at all. <laughs> no, but it's not like we are, we are gossiping. Or yeah, it's, but I, it happened. So I'm yes, reporting so, what happened. So a lot of people who are aware of that provision of the law always ride on that to actually uh, make bloggers accountable. So you don't just spread falsehood. And in this case, uh, the information that was being uh, projected as true w could have cost um, his him job. his job. Very true indeed. So, so there's also a civil angle to that, which is um, he could actually claim for any kind of damage or loss. You know what will happen, actually? We have to invite you again and then have this conversation because there are many other stories that, that we like to look at. But we know that as a lawyer, you also offer some sort of trainings and assistance for younger lawyers, and you have an event coming up. Yeah, so. I do. I have an event coming up on Friday next week. And, what um, date? The 7th of December. Okay. The, the idea behind it is we have new weeks coming into the profession. I think... Um, from yesterday, I yes, think call to call to call on to right now. Yeah, it's on right now, and a lot of them need to understand certain things coming into the profession, coming into the law practice. That there are certain pillars that would define the, their longevity and their prosperity. Yeah. we'll be teaching on personal branding. We'll be teaching on how to use uh, digital uh, media, how to also. Um, Build a community that supports your law practice. And I'm sure you have all this information on your social media. Yes, I so do. So people can get all the information at Akiemi Law, right? Akiemi Law on Instagram, Akiemi Law on Twitter. All right. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate this. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.